good afternoon, good afternoon, lovely people. It is Christina coming back again. So in my first video, I kind of did an intro of um, explaining that I am headed to Michigan to get a procedure called a hourglass tummy tuck. Um, today is June the 14th. I am on the highway. I'm about an hour and 15 minutes away. Um, today is my pre-op appointment, so I'm on my way to my pre-op appointment. But I just wanted to jump on real quick to explain the procedure that I am getting. So this is called an hourglass tummy tuck, which is not a traditional tummy tuck. Um, I believe a traditional tummy tuck is where, you know, they just cut the extra fat off the lower abdominal area and then sew it, you know, tuck, uh, take the extra fat out and sew it back up. Um, and you have that flat area down there. This procedure that I am getting, hourglass tummy tuck, basically if you think about an hourglass figure in your waistline and everything. Um, so with this procedure, they cut along my C-section incision, like the smile down below. And um, then they open the stomach up all the way to the breastbone. And then right on top of where your muscle is under all that fat, uh, where your six pack as they call would be um, they basically tighten that area up very very tight make it nice and flat then pull the you know put the stomach back down the skin and then they cut the extra skin off so you up and then you are flat all the way down from the breastbone all the way down to you know your lower abdominal area and so it does bring you in in your waistline and as well in the front. Um, so this is why I opted out of getting liposuction as of right now to my hips and my sides and my back. Um, just because, again, I said I wasn't trying to look like a Barbie. I didn't want a BBL, a Brazilian butt lift, um, which I did find out, side note, fun fact, a Brazilian butt lift does not make your butt bigger. A Brazilian butt lift gives you the shape and the mass that you would need but it doesn't give you a big booty so like for example I have the mass but I just don't have the shape <laughs> but I'm not really worried about the shape honey I like my booty but um, I just want to get rid of this stomach so I just want to jump on real quick to share that um, you know kind of what I'm going to be going through um, so with the recovery the recovery time is eight weeks um, I will have a drainage tube in that I have to maintain and um, for the first I know week or so I won't be able to stand up straight um, it's required for you to have a walker and things but I'll get more into that afterwards I am going to continue to videotape my progress throughout the time that I am off of work and recovering. So again, just wanted to jump on really quickly while I'm on the road on my way to my pre-opt appointment. It is at two o'clock, so I had to leave a little early because I live three hours away. Um, and you know, just share with you all uh, kind of like what is going to be going on, what's gonna happen because I won't be able to record or have the phone in there with me uh, during the procedure. So, see you guys in a couple more days. Well, my surgery's tomorrow, so depending on how I feel, I might jump on tomorrow. If not, um, I'll definitely jump on Wednesday. All right, hope everyone's having an awesome and wonderful and blessed Monday. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Peace and blessings. Take care. Mwah.